Hello there and thank you for tuning in again. Today's report is Company Intelligence Report 2016, number 94. Russia, secret Kremlin meetings attended by Trump advisor Carter Page in Moscow, July of 2016. It is dated 19th of July, 2016. The curious thing is that this report number 94 is dated earlier than report number 86, which I have already read to you. So there's something very strange here in the sequence of the reports, as well as the fact that one of the reports was undated. And the significance of these irregularities are really unclear to me. Uh, whether they detract from the reliability and credibility of these reports, I don't know. They may simply be accidental accidents re uh, arising from the circumstances under which the reports were being produced and conveyed. Um, I know that, uh, it, well, I don't know, but I, it has been reported that Christopher Steele made actually several communications to the FBI uh, on several different occasions before sending the entire collection of reports and so it may be that there was some numbering confusion between the several um, compilations of reports that he, he created. I don't know. But it's important that you realize that there are some problems with these reports. Um, this mentions Carter Page, and as I've already told you in a previous program, Carter Page, along with Paul Manafort, is being uh, investigated by a congressional bipartisan committee right now for Russian ties and possible criminal acts against the United States. Summary. <clears throat> Trump advisor Carter Page holds secret meetings in Moscow with Sechin, with Sechin and senior Kremlin internal affairs officer Divyekin. Sechin raises issues of future bilateral U.S.-Russia energy cooperation an associated lifting of Western sanctions against Russia over Ukraine. Page is noncommittal in response. Divyekin discusses release of Russian dossier of Kompromat on Trump's opponent Hillary Clinton, but also hints at Kremlin possession of such material on Trump. Detail. Speaking in July 2016, a Russian source close to Rosneft President Putin, close associate and U.S. sanctioned individual Igor Sechin, confided the details of a recent secret meeting between him and visiting foreign affairs advisor to Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump, Carter Page. Now, this Rosneft, President Rosneft, is the big oil and gas um, company in Russia and uh, the um, importance of that is that Exxon Mobil, with uh, Rex Tillerson, had previously been working on very elaborate and enormous uh, commercial deals. Uh, so with Tillerson, who may be Secretary of State by the time you hear this, um, Tillerson, of course, has very, very strong um, Russian ties and it is through this Rosneft uh, connection. And so, as you'll see in a later report, uh, Trump and his um, associates uh, were offered a, a slice of that pie should that go through if sanctions be lifted uh, when Trump becomes president. Again, back to the details of the report. Number two. According to Sitchin's associate, the Rosneft president, CEO, had raised with Page the issue of future bilateral energy cooperation and prospects for an associated move to lift Ukraine-related Western sanctions against Russia. Page had reacted positively to this demarche by Sitchin, but had been generally noncommittal in response. Three. Speaking separately, also in July of 2016, an official close to presidential administration head, S. Ivanov, 
confided in a compatriot that a senior colleague in the internal political department of the PA, the PA is the presidential administration, in the, interna in the internal political department of the PA, Divyakin, NFD, I think that stands for no fixed date, also had met secretly with Page on his recent visit. Their agenda had included Divyakin raising a dossier of compromat the Kremlin possessed on Trump's Democratic presidential rival Hillary Clinton and its possible release to the Republicans' campaign team. Four, however, the Kremlin official close to S. Ivanov added that Shir he believed Divyakin also had hinted, had hinted or indicated more strongly that the Russian leadership also had compromat on Trump, which the latter should bear in mind in his dealings with them. And then this report, which is very short, is dated 19th of July, 2016. Thank you for watching this installment. I hope you will tune in to get the next report. Thank you for watching.